Hello, my name is Mike Wellings and I'm a retired fire investigator and associate member of the Cruise Lecturers Association. I retired from the fire service in November 2012 after completing 30 years with Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. But first I would like to talk a little bit about myself and the lectures that I've produced that might be of interest to your cruise company and your future clientele. I have had a number of interesting jobs in my working life, ranging from an engineering draftsman of six years to a private in the Territorial Army with the Parachute Regiment, and my last employer being the Fire Service, which I served as an operational firefighter. During my career, I moved through the ranks from firefighter to watch commander, and remained as an operational firefighter for 25 years, serving at a number of stations throughout Manchester. I've attended a variety of incidents ranging from the smallest of fires to major incidents involving over 100 firefighters, which is a rare event these days. I've also attended multi-car crashes and river rescues. I've also been involved in a number of high-profile incidents such as Strangeways Prison Riot and the Manchester Bomb that were covered by the world media. During my operational duties, I've served at a number of stations which had specialist fire engines placed there and these would have attended the larger incidents or had specific roles at the smaller incidents. Riding these specials allowed me to attend far more major and interesting incidents than if I had just been at a station housing or an ordinary fire engine. One of these specials was an emergency salvage tender which carried specialist equipment for the extrication of people from road traffic collisions. And in the earlier parts of my service, I was attending a large number of these incidents. Happily though, with the introduction of airbags and the better understanding of mechanics of car collisions, there have been a dramatic reduction of people becoming trapped. Also, I've been fortunate to have been involved with a number of fire reducing and procedural initiatives throughout my career as a firefighter. The first was becoming one of the very first trauma technicians to be trained and ride a fire engine within the UK. A trauma technician is an advanced first aider who manages the medical care of the casualty until the ambulance service arrives. With all these past experiences, it has helped me and gave me the understanding that I would need for the last five years in the fire service, and that was being a fire investigator. I became a member of the first dedicated fire investigation team in 2007 with Greater Manchester, and one of the few dedicated teams set up to investigate fires around the UK. The majority of the smaller brigades have officers that carry out the role of fire investigator as a part of their main role as the incident commander. Therefore, they have to manage their time carefully, where I, being part of an investigation team, only had to contend with investigating the fire scene and did not become involved in managing or assisting the extinguishing of fires. This improved the detection and prosecution rate of arson within Greater Manchester. During the initial start-up period in 2007, I and the fire investigation team was instrumental in rewriting the working protocols of fire investigation along with re-educating the firefighters and other agencies such as the police on the needs for these protocols to be implemented. Also because of these changes, along with the cooperation and the understanding of the police, we were able to instruct the crime scene investigators in basic fire investigation and this allowed us to build up a good working relationship with these dedicated people. It also gave me an understanding of how they worked to collect the evidence required for the courts. So this leads me to my lectures. I've produced a number of light-hearted lectures that can be used as an individual presentation or as a series on the different aspects of the fire investigation and the fire service. Also, may I reiterate that at no time during these lectures are there any disclosures of how to evade detection, conceal evidence or start a fire? My first is titled My Career Firefighter to Investigator. It gives a brief outline on my career as a firefighter and some of the unusual incidents I attended as a firefighter and investigator. My second lecture is titled Fire Scene Investigation, which highlights what is required to carry out an investigation and the other agencies that are crucial to the investigation's final outcome. It includes some interesting pictures of fire scenes and the possible pitfalls of what can happen during the investigation. My other lectures cover a number of topics such as the working dogs within the fire service, the fire engine, accelerants and arson. Thank you for viewing this video 
and I look forward to delivering these presentations to your clientele on behalf of the Cruise Lecturers Association.